So something a little bit different today. Today, Sale and I are working with the Nantahale Outdoor Center on a segment for the TV show, World of Adventure, which airs on outside TV. Now, we don't know exactly what today entails. Kind of a neat way to see what goes on behind the scenes of a working in the outdoors with a professional broadcast crew. So let's go. Part of the cool thing about today is that we get to show you what it's like to work with a professional broadcast crew. This is Caitlin. Yep. What are we doing here today? Well, we're hoping to get some footage of you and your daughter training at this long course here at the NOC. For the last couple of years, I've actually been the spokesperson for the Nana Hill Outdoor Center. And while it's not something I do right now, when I get the opportunity, when I'm asked, it is something I enjoy doing. I mean, this is a place that I have spent the better part of my paddling life since 1990. And, you know, even today, it's actually these kind of opportunities feel less about the micro Nantahala Outdoor Center side and much more about the macro let's get people outside let's get people in in the outdoors doing things being adventurous those just those little things that help grow the pie just a little bit bigger all right so this is kevin our awesome video journalist that we're working with today and i love this this is kind of a neat thing you talk about the shots that make these outdoor adventure videos so cool this rig just it makes it feel like the camera's kind of floating yeah yeah they call it chicken heading chicken heading because it looks just like a chicken where it moves the body but not its head it's really cool when you think about all these sports and you think about mountain biking or whitewater kayaking just so bumpy in nature and this just kind of makes it all just nice and smooth and very gentle very cool things one of the neat things about getting to work with guys like this today first thing that we're going to do is head out on to the solemn course so Sao and I are geared up for that. You ready to go do solemn paddling for the cameras? I'm ready, are you ready? That's what I've been training for. That's why you do this, it's still gotta look reasonably good. 25 years after the 92 Olympics, you know, you gotta, gotta do something that kinda keeps me in the game. TV helps. So a part of doing a shoot like this is getting the runs from a lot of different perspectives. Uh, Seo is gonna do a few runs with the GoPro. You know, as I sit here in the big blue Subaru chair next to the river with my iPhone that I just turned on and started talking, it, it's so interesting to be around a professional crew and just to observe and admire their patience and what it takes to get a good shot. Just the time that they put into it, looking at things from different perspectives and just watching the story come together. Very cool. All right, so we are at lunchtime now. It's been a long morning, but it's been a great morning. Now we get ready to do the interview portion. Now, you might wonder, maybe you wonder, maybe not, how I prepare for doing the interview portion. So, this is what, what I do. Uh, first of all, this morning in my idea listing, I actually thought about just 10 lessons, 10 life lessons I learned here at the Nanahill Outdoor Center. That kind of got me thinking a lot about NOC and what this area means to me. And then secondly, I think a lot about Payson Kennedy and Payson's vision and what he had here and kind of getting into that mode and just thinking about the values of what we like here. That actually helps me to kind of get into that right tone, that right spirit for talking about what this place means to me which is a lot, the place means a lot to me. All right, it's post lunch and we are back in paddling gear, but not because we're going paddling. These boats over here have to go on top of that car right there. So we're gonna spend a little time doing that now. Hey, 
just a small rain delay. Rain delay. Hurry up and wait. And that might give us a few more minutes to see if the rain will go by. <laughs> oh my gosh, if that doesn't make the video, I don't know. I don't know what will. All right, so we're almost to the interview section. First, we have to do a small little video with the actual car, the Subaru, and uh, we have Caitlin in the back with us for this one. What's up? Hello. <laughs> Kevin over here getting us ready for interviews. DC area, I grew up paddling in, on the Potomac River in this thing. It has a lot to do with the way I feel about the Nanahill Outdoor Center that I do today. So it's about 5.20 and we are calling it a day. It's been a great day here at the Nanahill Outdoor Center and really enjoyed working with this crew. Uh, anxious to see the final spot and you know it's nice to just talk a little bit about the Nanahill Outdoor Center, what the NOC values have meant to my family and me, what Payson and Horace's vision as the founders of the company, how they've influenced uh, me as well and influenced the business that I'm growing right now. So it's been a great day. I hope you've enjoyed this little behind the scenes look and enjoy the final product on World of Adventure. Thanks. See you later.